Hey guys, it's Riley or I'll surf did over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I'm here with a Goodwill outlet haul. So if you don't know who I am, I'm a full-time reseller pretty much only on Poshmark. I've been dabbling in Mercari but that's another story. Today the haul I have to share with you is actually the haul from my video I posted previously which was like, shop with me at the Goodwill outlet slash like a day in my life of a full-time reseller slash like how I process bin stuff. Today I am showing you everything that I decided to keep for myself to sell on Poshmark because if you don't know when I go to the bins I sell stuff to Plato's Closet, I do stuff for kids consignment, I send stuff to thread up, and then I sell stuff myself that I get from the pins on Poshmark. So today I'm showing you everything that I got for myself to sell on Poshmark. And today we're going to start out with the shoes because the last time I did a haul we started out with the clothes. I actually got less shoes than normal which is a little disappointing because I do pretty good with shoes at my bins but this day was busier than normal because I think because of spring break and it was also I just feel like they rolled out worse shoes than normal. So this day I actually lined up for a shoe rotation. My bins currently does one person per bin. They started that during COVID and I hope they take it away because it makes it harder to get to those new bins because people will line up like especially for shoes an hour in advance which is what I did this day. I lined up an hour in advance and I just stood there and it was kind of a waste of time because shoes were not good this day and I don't think I'll do that again. Um, I've lined up in the past to go second through a bin so after the person who goes first is done I've gone through that bin and I've still wound up, wound up with great stuff. So while I got stuff I definitely wouldn't have got if I wasn't the first person to the bin, I'm okay going second. It's not worth that hour of my time. But I will show you guys the items that, the shoes that I did score today, or the day that I went. Okay, first I grabbed these New Balance tennis shoes, and I don't, oh my gosh, Goodwill wanted $14.99 for these, which is why they did not sell at Goodwill. So I've noticed the Goodwills in my area have started pricing like all athletic shoes between like 15 and $20, which is just ridiculous. Cause they'll be like, oh, those are good ASICs and go to look at them and they want $20. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't pay $20 for used ASICs, but they end up at the bins and I grab them. So at my bins, um, a lot of the people are shopping for athletic shoes and they'll grab them in almost any condition. So I happen to get a lot of the stuff that I like, like leather boots and like those like lower end like DSW brands, but I can still sell for a decent profit on Poshmark. But since I lined up for a bin this day, I did happen to grab some athletic shoes. And so this was one of them. Now, I don't think these are going to sell for much more than like $25. I'm guessing between 20 and 25, but I was still happy to get a pair of athletic shoes for a change. Next. Oh, I didn't say this. I paid $1.50 for shoes this day, which is kind of like I usually pay between $1.20 and $1.50 for shoes. So these are Dr. Scholl's which is a brand I pretty much only grab at the bins because it will sell for like $20. Um, so these are Dr. Scholl's knit shoes. That's not a mark, it's just an indent. Um, and the sides need to be cleaned up a little bit, but I'll just use a magic eraser. So these should sell for about $20. And then these were a nice find. I'm pretty sure these were in a picked over bin. Ugh. These were not one of the items I got in my bin. These are Uggs. Ugg boots and they're really nice. I'm surprised these are at a picked over bin. But that's what I mean. Like a lot of the people are just looking for tennis shoes. And so then I get the nice Ugg boots. This is not a style I've seen before. I wonder if Goodwill had a price on these. I don't see one, but they do have writing on the bottom, but oh well. I, okay, we're going out of winter, but I think I could get about like, they look a little faded, but I still think these are, I could get like 30 to 35 for these. Sticking with Uggs, we got a pair of Kula Bora by Ugg. So this is like a diffusion line of Ugg. Uh, I first heard of it at Last Chance, so that means it's sold at Nordstrom. It also, I believe it's sold at like Macy's or Kohl's or something. Um, these are in, like in great condition. They're kind of worn, but oh, actually, oh, this bow has popped off, but that's fine. I can just put a little stitch in it and it will be fine. Um, but the rest of the bows are all intact and Goodwill 
looks like oh goodwill wanted seven dollars for these i probably wouldn't have paid seven dollars just because of the condition but i'll grab them at the bins for a dollar fifty and because of condition like since they're not in perfect condition i expect like 20 to 25 um and they do make kids but this is a woman size five or actually you know what this might be a kid size five because this looks this is definitely like a kid size five because these look bigger than my shoe so they should fit like a woman seven and a half next is another one of those items i would not have been able to get unless i lined up for a bin they are adidas sneakers and they're in really great condition which i'm surprised because they're like knit ones and i feel like the knit ones usually get holes in the toes um i don't know anything really about sneakers i really never sell them i never get them at the bins they're size six and a half which is my size but um yeah, these are okay. I mean, I don't think they're anything special. I bet they're sold at like DSW, so I bet I could get like 20 to 25 for them. This was a little bit of a questionable choice on my part. I did grab these Skechers sandals. Um, you know, they're not in bad shape. They're really not. I'll just use a little bit of leather conditioner and clean them up. Um, I hope there's a size. Yeah, I didn't. Oh yeah, there's a size. They're a US size eight. So like a men's eight. Um, I just grabbed them because I know some Skechers are worth money. These probably are worth about like 15 to 20, but you know what? I paid a dollar 50, so there's still room for profit in here. They're actually, they are in good shape. They look worn, but I think that's just the look of the sandal. Okay, this was one of my best shoe finds this day, and I did find these in a picked over bin, and I'm very surprised that I got them in a picked over bin. Like picked over as in this bin had been sitting out since opening and I got there at like 11.30. So they are in need of uh, some leather conditioner, but they are Doc Martin sandals. And they're, you know, not the cutest style to me, but I feel like this fits the Y2K trendy TikTok style that people are going for. Uh, again, I'll put some leather conditioner on them and I think sell them for at least $35. Like there's no flaws. I was so, I was expecting like the sole to be cracked or something, but they're in good shape. Uh, it looks like maybe the size is gone. I don't know. I don't know the size is in here. Next up are some Lucky Brand shoes that need some love, but I still grab them. So this style Lucky Brand boot used to sell super well. I haven't actually sold any in a while, but I think they still sell well. I recently listed a pair. Um, they are the basil boot. And so this one needs leather conditioner for sure. And you know, it's worn, but I've sold them in worse condition. So I think these should sell for between 20 and $25 pretty easily. Okay, these are shoes that I grabbed and I was first to the bin. So I don't know if these would have been left behind for me if I wasn't. They are, oh, it looks like they fold over like this. Um, I think I actually picked up a pair of these to resell and they're a decent brand. Paula Diem. Like I haven't, I so I'm pretty sure a few weeks ago I grabbed a pair of these. Um, I haven't like listed them or checked comps. Like I just did it really fast. And I'm like, yeah, this is worth like spending a few bucks on at this thrift store. But so at the bins, I grabbed them um, and didn't look them up. They are a US size nine and a half. Men's again, I would guess um and they're super lightweight which is surprising they're like a foam sole goodwill wanted ten dollars for these i don't think i would have paid ten dollars for them but i probably would have grabbed them half off at five but i got them at the bins for a dollar fifty so i think i think from when i looked up comps a few weeks ago um for the other pair they should sell for over 50 no they should sell for over thirty dollars okay this is like this is like an okay pair of shoes. They're Salvador Ferragamo, which is, you know, a pretty expensive brand, but they are the older tag. So I don't know how old these ones are. I would guess like 80s or 90s, maybe. Um, I probably would not have picked them up at a Goodwill, but I did grab them at the bins because I think I could make 20 to 25 on them. Uh, they do have like a funky print to them and a funky heel um i've actually i don't think i've ever grabbed ferragamo shoes before but like i've seen them like this older style but never picked them up because they wanted too much for the old for the older style but i i'll try these ones out i grabbed them to try out for a dollar fifty all right then these are just pretty basic bin shoes uh just a pair of keds and they are like felt um 
this is something that I would pretty much only pick up at the bins for $1.50. I'm expecting them to sell between $15 and $20. Certain Kents can do pretty well, like the Rifle Paper Co. collabs and the Kate Spade collabs can do well. So if you come across those ones, I would look them up. Let's see. Then we have this pair of Sinooks. Sinooks is known more for their like flip flops and like yoga mat sandals, but these are sneakers and I don't think I've ever sold Sinook sneakers. Um, they're not my style, they're US size seven, but they're someone's style and I can probably sell them for about 20 bucks. So here is what Sinook looks like. If you're not familiar, sorry, it's not really focusing. Uh, it's like a little smiley face. I wouldn't pay too much for these, but I would grab them at the bins. You can make a profit. Okay, then I have these Muka, Mukluka, Mukluk Um, And I think I've grabbed these before, maybe sold them from the bins. I don't remember, but that's not good. Where did that come from? Oh, okay. Well, it looks like something else might need a little repair. Um, but I was like, they're like slipper, slippery shoes. Actually, these ones might be worn outside just because the sole's a little thicker, but I was like, any slipper that like takes time to like mark their shoe is definitely worth me picking up at the bins because I can sell them for probably about $15 to $22 and make a profit. But it does look like this fell off and I will need to find out how to reattach that. Okay, this was actually supposed to be with the textiles, but oh, you know what? I meant to send this to thread up. Okay, well. I might have to. I already set my thread up boxes from the spins haul out, so I guess we'll go to the next one. It is a Wilson's leather hat. Maybe I'll still list it. I don't know. We're kind of out of the hat season. Who knows? Maybe this could be worth some money. I'll look it up, and if I don't feel like selling it, I'll send it to thread up. So this hat I paid 60 cents for. All right, this next shoe I 100% would not have gotten if I was not the first person to my bin. There are these Nike, I believe, basketball shoes. They have like very minimal wear, a little bit dirty. These are exactly what people at my bins are looking for. But you know, today I was lucky and I got a pair. I don't know very much about Nike sneakers, but if you're like me and you don't, oh, they say hyperfuse on them. Um, Nike, you probably know, these are from 2012, a little bit older. Um, on here, on the interior of Nike, there's a style number in there and you can just put that into Google and get all the information you need. And Goodwill wanted $29.99 for these guys and nobody purchased them for that price or for half off that price. They even put a nice little 29 on the bottom. So they ended up at the bins and I grabbed them. Um, I have no idea how much these are worth, but I would hope at least $25. Alrighty, next up is a classic bins find for me and that is Born. I pretty much always grab Born at the bins. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it does sell. And these ones are a blue leather stud flat. Um, there's not gonna be too much money in these, but probably around $20, which paying $1.50 for is still enough room for me to make a decent profit. I went back and forth on these because they do have a flaw, but I ended up picking them up there. I'm not in a good spot. They're Sam Edelman, like mules with the pony hair, cheetah print and the flaw is on this shoe the tip of the shoe is missing the pony hair but from like a distance you can't tell like it blends in with the shoes for the most part and so i was like i can sell these pretty cheap make a profit and then somebody like save these from the landfill even with the flaw like seriously like you're looking down at your feet you can't tell so I grabbed them. Um, I would guess between like 15 and 18 for these because of the flaw. If they didn't have the flaw, I would guess between 25 and 30. I probably should have passed on these, but they were in good condition. So I grabbed them. Actually, are they in good condition? Yeah, they're in good condition. <laughs> they're a pair of Clarks and they're like a reptile metallic print. Um, these ones, I like, they were $6 at Goodwill, maybe. I would have picked them up or seven dollars maybe i would have picked them up half off but like even at the bins i'm questioning whether i should have got these or not just because they're you know a little more mature old lady style but you know mature old lady shop on poshmark and someone might come across these and pick them up for twenty dollars clark's and born i get like every single bins trip which i'm oh my god a spider a spider ah! 
Okay, I don't remember what I was saying. Um, but in my shop with me at the bins, this I had said in the video is probably one of my better shoe finds for the day. It is a pair of tall Lucky Brand leather boots. I found these in a picked over bin. <laughs> and this is what I mean about the people at my bins, you know, the at the there are people like resellers like me looking for this stuff, but they're more in they're more few and far between. The main people are the sneaker peoples. Peoples. The sneaker people. <laughs> Sneakerheads, yeah, those the t-shirt guys and the sneakerheads. Oh, and they're size 12. So uh these were a really great pair that I found in a picked over bin. And they should sell, I would guess, for at least $45. I would guess between $45 and like $55, just because they're in fantastic condition. I was super happy to score these in a picked over bin. I don't see a price tag on those, so I don't even think they ever made it to a Goodwill store. Okay, these are Vince Camuto little peep toe booties. Sorry the sun is like coming in and out. Um, they have like general wear on them, but overall in good condition. Vince Camuto is not my favorite brand to sell, so I don't really like pick it up at Goodwill. Like I don't pay up for it very much, but I do grab it at the bins because it does sell for that $20 and $25 mark, which is what I'm guessing these will sell for. Okay, then I grabbed these Kendall plus Kylie shoes, uh, velvet round toe booties with like a pointed toe. These like give me total witch shoe vibes. Like even the way they like curve up, kind of like Victorian witch. Um, so these were in a picked over bin, I believe. And Kendall and Kylie, uh, or Kendall, excuse me, Kendall plus Kylie, I don't know if you can see that very well, with the plus sign is the higher end Kendall and Kylie because there's Kendall and Kylie, which is sold at PacSun. Kendall plus Kylie is sold at Nordstrom. Um, a lot of people don't know that distinction. So I, even though, like I have a dress from the Kendall plus Kylie, which retailed pretty expensive, like maybe close to 200. It's been just sitting in my closet because I don't think people really know there's a difference. And they're like, Kendall plus Kylie, that's from PacSun. But at the bins, I grabbed them. And Goodwill wanted $9 for these. Like they have a nine written on the bottom. They wanted $9.99 for these. So I, I don't even know if I would have paid $5 for them. Like they're decent shoes, but I just tend to stay away from this brand because people don't usually know the distinction between the two. Then we got another pair of classic Clarks. Um, the Clarks is rubbed off on the interior, but it's on the bottom and these are a nice style. I was like happy to find these ones are slightly more modern um, than the other ones I showed you in their size eight. Luckily the size is still in there, not rubbed off. These I would expect about 25 on. I don't even know how many pairs of shoes I got this day, but it is funny. This is less shoes than I normally get at my bins. And this is like, this is a bad shoe days for me. Not bad. This is not a great shoe day for me at the bins, which for some people it might be. All our bins are different. I have terrible clothes, but I have decent shoes. Okay, next are another pair of Clarks. They are the sneakers. These I would guess 25 on. Okay, we got another pair of, oh, oh my god, I thought it was another spider. It's just a fuzzy. We got another pair of the Makalukas slippers. Oh, you can start to see the shoes piling up over there. Um, these I mostly grabbed because they need to be sweater shaved, and I just really wanted to use my sweater shaver because I bought one a few weeks ago, and it is so much fun. So again, okay, these are more of the, like, slipper bottom than the other ones, so I feel like these are definitely, here, wait, let me show you the, the bottom pair. Oops. So you can see this bottom is much thicker than this bottom. So I feel like these are more meant for outdoors and these are slippers. So I will give these a sweater shave and expect to sell them for maybe like 16 to 20. All right, then we got an exciting find, which again, these are in like a picked over bin. They are bogs and they are women's bogs. Bogs I think is slightly more known for making kid shoes and I do pick up kids bogs, although I haven't found any in a while. Um, because my Goodwill has started to learn the Boggs brand that I actually did like a couple years ago now, and they priced Boggs up. These, oh, it has spider webs in them. I wonder if that's where that spider came from. These don't have any Goodwill price on them, so I don't think they ever made it to Goodwill. I was happy to pick them up for $1.50, and we'll probably sell them around $25 to $30. Um, one thing about Boggs is the pattern, when they have patterns, tends to rub off around the toes. Um, oh, you can see on the inside, it's rubbing off there. I would still pick them up even if the pattern is rubbing off. They'll just sell for a little bit less. All right, guys, we're on the final stretch of shoes, but 
before I show you the last of the shoes, I have a few hard good items I grabbed. So a couple months ago, I started selling hard good items on Mercari and done okay. Um, not great, but you know, I'm learning and I would definitely sell more if I was in eBay, but I just have an, an aversion to eBay. So I'm doing Mercari and if it doesn't work out, that's okay. I experimented and tried something new. So here I grabbed this hard good item um, at the bins to sell on Mercari. It is a hand carved wood tray and it does have a chip here. So this is and in the corner there, not something I would pick up at Goodwill with the chips, but at the bins I grabbed it and I ended up paying $1.50 for it. And I did use Google Lens to search it in it, like a very similar one, like pretty much the same de design, like was listed on eBay without the chips selling for like 20. I would hope to sell this to Mercari for like with the chips, like $12. And I believe it was carved in Aruba. So it's very beautiful. I wish it didn't have the chips cause then it would go for more. All right, then we got a Mickey plush. He is from Disneyland. Walt Disney World, which is why I picked him up because he rattles, he's like a baby toy, but because I think those are the slightly better ones. It's not just a random Disney stuffed animal. Who knows, this could go for like $5. Um, but I'm gonna look him up, see much how much he goes for, and then list him on Mercari. And he, I paid 60 cents for him because I got him with the clothes. Oops, okay. Then I grabbed this vintage cross crocheted something owl um i don't know for sure if it's vintage but it definitely gives me vintage 70s vibes so i will list this on mercari for maybe like ten dollars and take an offer he's not worth very much but he's so light and when i like average everything out you know same as stuffed animal i paid 60 cents okay and the last hard cut item um you might recognize this brand. It is Precious Moments. I don't know a whole lot about Precious Moments other than they were collectible and I, they still are, but I don't think they're worth that much. So I see them all the time at Goodwill, but my Goodwill price is them at at least $7 a piece. I've sold one Precious Moments thing before. It was a nativity set and nativity sets are like, you know, different. It doesn't like the brand doesn't matter as much. So anyway, let's just show you. Okay, this one is, a tub full of love and it's from 1987 and it has the box and it had no chips or cracks which was shocking and you know i'm not into this look of like collectible porcelain figures but i think it's a cute one and no chips or cracks at the bins amazing um i have no idea like different ones sell for different amounts and this one's from the 80s. Uh, I know a lot of them are religious, have stuff to do with like Christianity. I don't know if the religious ones sell for more or less, whatever. I paid $1.50 for him. Um, I'm learning, it's an experiment. Maybe at worst comes to worst, I'll sell it for like $7 and makes my money back, maybe a slight profit. All right, those were all the hard goods I grabbed. Um, I don't have much luck with hard goods at my bins. Finishing up the shoes, I have like six pairs left maybe. Okay, I actually found one of these shoes. So a lot of the times like at my bins, I would find a ton of singles and never find the matches. But the last two times I've been super lucky with pretty much only getting rubber banded together shoes or the matches being right next to each other. This one, however, I did only find one shoe. And then after maybe about like 30 minutes, I went back and looked and someone had had the match and thrown it back since they didn't have the match. So I ended up getting these Clarks. Um, not super exciting Clarks. They should sell for like 18 to $20, but I will sell Clarks all day long. Okay, I went back and forth on whether I should grab these or not. And now I'm thinking I should have thrown them back. They are a pair of Sperry Duck Boots, which is a great find. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit, but the problem is they were missing the laces. And so they were in these like super picked over bins that had been out for hours because they were missing the laces. And then I was like, I saw them and I like put them back and then I grabbed them again. I was like, you know what? I can just like buy laces at Amazon and sell them. And then when I was driving home, just thinking about the stuff I got, I was like, wait a second. Sperry uses these leather like curly laces for their duck boots. Maybe I'll put a picture up here. And I'm like, I can't just buy those, I don't think. So now I don't know if I'm gonna buy, I might just buy a pair of random laces off of uh, Amazon or, sell them as is without the laces. 
I think it'd be worth it just to buy a random pair of laces and disclose laces had been changed. But if they had the laces, they would sell for like $35 minimum in good condition, which these are in good condition after I clean them up. So if you find them with the laces, I would grab them. Next, we have a pair of, I have no idea how to say this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Um, this is like a Chaco's or a Tiva sister brand. Uh, I think it actually might be Chaco's, I don't remember. But they are worth money, which is the important thing. These I think will sell for like $25. So grab those, happy to find those. I believe they were in a picked over bin. Okay, next up, I think this was in the bin that I had lined up for. Um, not a super exciting find, but a decent find. They are dance goes. I mean, dance goes at the bins are always nice. And I did, you know, check the sole, bent it, wiggled it. So yeah, if you're checking, dance goes always go like boop, boop, bend it, wiggle it. And because they'll get dry rot and just crumble under your feet. Not, they'll just crumble under the feet. I actually happened to me before I sold a pair of dance goes I had tested and then took a while to sell, shipped them out and they crumbled while the person was wearing them. I felt super bad. Luckily Poshmark refunded her. But, so these aren't like the classic clog style, but you know, they're still a clog and they have some wear on the toes. Um, I'll see what leather conditioner for, can do for them. They are more of scratches than just like leather wear. So I would expect these to sell for $30. I think that these are Steve Madden. Let's see. They are made in Brazil. I don't think they're Steve Madden. These are, oh, Madewell. Okay, I remember now. So Madewell. Goodwill wanted $7 for these, and I don't know if I would have paid $7 for them just because they're pretty worn. Although, like, toes are a little worn. They're, like, decent boots, but I don't know if you can see there's, like, a lot of little leather, like, pieces coming up. So I might just take a leather to the over- a leather- a lighter to the overall boot and just try to burn off some of these little leather pillies. Um, depending on how well I can clean these up, I would expect them to sell between $25 and $35. I don't love the style of those, but always happy to find Madewell shoes in the bins. Alright guys, I want to show you the difference on these really quick. I took a lighter and just <laughs> burned some of these off. So this side I burned off and this side I haven't burned off for the most part. Um, so this is what they looked like before with all these little leathers fuzzies and now they look like this and oh, these and they cleaned up they'll clean up super nice so that is good for me and so just want to show you if you have a pair of shoes that look like this just take a leather and lightly go over and they will burn off the little leather poles i don't even know what to call these two pairs left guys and then we'll go to clothes we got another pair of clarks and they do have some dirt on the bottom um these are just like classic Clark sandals. I love to sell these ones, um, especially when they're in great condition like this. Like these don't, obviously they've been worn, but they don't look like they've been worn. Um, these should sell for $20 and we're going into summer. I don't need those boots. This is what I need. I need sandals that will sell for $20. Although I'm happy with all my boots. The last pair of shoes I'm super happy with and I'm pretty sure these were in a picked over bin. They are Ugg slippers. Um, they are worn, but these these slippers sell so well because uh, a couple years ago I was looking for a pair of Ugg slippers for my mom for Christmas and I was like, I'll score a good deal on Poshmark. These still sell for like $40 used on Poshmark. Um, they're just like a classic Ugg style and I don't actually think I've ever found this style in the bins before. I was happy to find these ones and uh, they do have like, you know, just some general like kind of wear on the toes. They'll still sell for like $35, $40 on Poshmark. Oh, you know, I am noticing they have a little bit more wear right there. Still sell for like $35. Um, and they are, I remember my friend had these exact ones. She used to wear them all the time. These are US size 8, so they're not even my size. Although, okay, the thing about these ones, if you're in the market for Ugg slippers, especially these ones, the fuzz, I feel like you need to go up like a half size because the fuzz just like makes them smaller. There's so much fuzz in there. All right, guys, that was all the shoes. Now we will get into the clothes. So the first item I grabbed, this was in probably like the best bin I hit, which is sad because I only got a few items from this bin. As I said earlier, I don't have much luck with clothes on my bins. This has like a super strong perfumey smell. Anyway, it is We the Free, Free People, 
purple ribbed sweater and this is their newer we the free tag so i would guess this is like a couple years old between like current to like three years old um i was happy to find this i did think it was inside out when i found it but this is just the style of it um this i would expect like 25 dollars for and that is one of the better items i got next um uh, this is normally something I would take to Play-Dohs, but I just decided to sell it for myself. It is Victoria's Secret Pink, very sparkly logo t-shirt. I would think this would sell between like $12 and $15, which honestly I'm okay with. Um, I paid $0.60 cents for all the clothing, $0.60 cents a piece. Um, so small profit, but still a profit. Then, this was a cool find. I'm gonna have to do some research, but it is a vintage fur coat and this is real fur I don't know what type of fur um but my dad thinks it might be bunny I don't think so I think it's I don't know what it is honestly you can look at it and tell me here's the tag um I am not someone who supports the fur trade but I will take a fur coat out of the bins and save it from getting thrown out and destroyed and give it another life because an animal did give its life for this coat which is funny that I'm saying this now because I think about all the leather shoes that I got but I don't know there's just something different about wearing fur anyway it's in great condition and I have no idea how much this was sell for I think probably close to a hundred dollars because I've sold faux fur Kurt, faux fur vintage coats for about a hundred dollars so um and this was in a picked over bin no one wanted this fur coat I grabbed it for 60 cents. It is heavy, it weighed a few pounds, but I average out all my costs, so I paid 60 cents. Next up, these were definitely donated from the same person. They are lands and swim tops. These are not big money makers, but they'll sell for like 12 to $15. And we're going into summer and I'll make a small profit. And they are bigger sizes, they're like a large. So, grabbed those. I would not have picked these up at a regular Goodwill, if you don't know what lands end looks like. That is like their swim tag. I have two bras and I wish I found more bras at my bins, but I just I don't find that many. I think they go pretty fast. Like people actually do pick up bras at my bins. It is raining, sorry if you can hear that. I did find this Kashyyyk bra though. Is that Lane Bryant or like Torrid's bra brand? I don't know. Um, it is an older one. It's new, it takes for $44. But even though it's old, like an older style, I would guess this is like from at least 2010. Um, it's new with tags, it's in good condition. It's a bigger bra. I paid 60 cents, I'll sell it for like 20 bucks. This is a bra brand I'd never heard of. This one's not in as good condition. It has a few flaws, but it's also like, the hair. They're just cosmetic flaws, so it will still sell. Um, the brand is Simone per really it's i would guess french uh here's the tag oh my goodness okay and these bras i did look up retail for like well over a hundred dollars and um this doesn't have an american size on it it's only like french and uk and stuff so i'll have to figure out what size this is um the cosmetic flaws are like I don't know if you can see some of this like a little detailing is pulling up but again it's cosmetic and it will still sell um i don't know the comps on this um i would hope for 25 to 30 in this condition next up is a pair of fabletics leggings and these are purple and high rise i want to say and they're a bigger size there is the fabletics logo it is missing the pull tag though so i'm just going to have to guess on the side like measure and then make an estimated guess are these cropped these might be cropped or 7 8 length um these will probably sell for like 18 dollars then i found a vintage piece and i do often come across vintage at my bins a lot of the times it's too stained and i don't want to stain treat stuff uh but this one was not stained her sister was stained and we left her behind but i took the non-stained one this is the tag street scene made in the usa here is the dress i would guess this is like a 60s or 70s dress um it does have the buttons they're just not buttoned and it is a midi dress it is super cute it will probably because i don't sell on like etsy 
Um, it will probably sit longer for me on Poshmark, but hopefully it will sell for like, depending on the brand, some vintage brands can sell for more. But if this is just like a no name, like the brand isn't important to this dress, based on style, I would think it would sell for $35. And I paid 60 cents. Next up, this is not a high dollar sale, but I like the piece. It is Airy by American Eagle. It is crossed out, so I don't know if that's like an outlet piece. Um, white, chunky sweater. And I will give it a little sweater shape because it's got some pilling. And it's not going to sell for a lot, but I liked it. It will probably sell for like 15 to $18. That is something I would normally take to Play-Dohs, but I liked that piece, so I decided to sell it. Then this was a questionable pickup. It is a Disney and this, this is the Disney tag that I don't usually grab just cause it says Disney, not like Disney parks or Disney world or something. Um, it's a one piece Eeyore like pajama thing. And I feel like this is probably sold at like Walmart or something, but People like Disney and it was at the bin so I decided to grab it and maybe it will sell for $20. I don't know. Next up we got a Polo Ralph Lauren zip up and I believe this is a men's although you know it could be unisex. It's got a yellow logo dude there. Um, this is something that I would probably take to Play-Dohs but I just decided to list it for $20-$25. dollars Sticking with the polo, um, actually is this polo? Yeah, this is polo Ralph Lauren. It doesn't have a polo guy on it, but it is a men's, I think it's a cashmere wool blend, like green jacket. Let's see, it, yeah, it's 66% cashmere and 34% wool. I was surprised this was in a picked over bin. I already sweater shaped this. It didn't really need a lot of work, but I just did it to make it look a bit nicer. I think this will sell for at least 25, oh my gosh, it's the same color as the wall. I think this will sell for at least $25. So this was one of my best finds of the day and it was again in that bin with the free people. It is CP Shades. Actually, maybe, I don't think it was in the same bin as free people. It might've been, I don't know, okay. It is a CP Shades button down jacket. And if you don't know, if you did not know CP Shades is a bolo brand. It's kind of hard to see the tag. This is pretty much what it always looks like. Um, it is, they do a lot of linen. Yeah, this is 100% linen. It's like a beachy boho. I would even say this piece looks like in the brand. It's sometimes sold at Free People. Um, this should easily sell for $35 because I don't know about the style, how current the style is, but if it's a more current style, probably over $50. And I paid 60 cents at the bins. But this is like one of my best pieces this day. Okay, this is a piece I should have left behind, but I did grab it. It is... Kalia or Kalia carry underwear's activewear brand and the reason I should have left it behind it was so pilly but as I said earlier I got a sweater shaver and I wanted to use it and I did this is what it looks like sweater shaved I cleaned it up a lot but then I noticed a hole here so now I have to stitch a hole and then I don't know if it already had this hole in it or if I accidentally did this while sweater shaving and being kind of careless um there's another hole a teeny tiny one right in here that I think I actually might have done this with my sweater shaver. Um, so that's another hole that needs a few stitches in it. So this is honestly probably about a 15 to $20 piece. And I thought like, I just really picked it up for myself to have fun sweater shaving it. And now there's even more work that has to go into it. So it should have been left behind, but I have it now. So I'm gonna fix it up and sell it. All right, next item is this, oh my gauze, leg and look. Like this is like, it looks like a poncho, but it is actually a shirt. And I think this is a slightly older tag from them. Um, I actually tend to find this brand a decent amount at my bins. Uh, I found it last time I went and then I found it obviously this time. I think this piece will sell for like $25. It's not a big seller, but I'm happy to find it. Then I found this Victoria's Secret corset top, which is definitely on trend. I like it. Um, the only thing about it though, I mean, this isn't, it's not a flaw. Victoria's Secret has it sized as a medium and I don't know how you can just have this. This looks, first of all, like an extra small. Second of all, there's like underwire in there. I don't understand how you can just say this is a medium, but I hopefully will sell for around $20. Okay. So I actually grabbed this to sell in a kid's consignment sale I'm doing. It's love to dream like sleep sack. 
but I looked this up and a single will sell for like $15. So I was like, you know what, I'll sell it myself. And then I was at Goodwill yesterday and found the exact same one at Goodwill for $1.99. So now I have $2.20 into a lot that will hopefully sell close to $30. So happy with that. Then we got two of the exact same shirt. Um, I don't know if these came from the same person. One of them was at Goodwill, like had a Goodwill reject or had a Goodwill tag on it, so it didn't sell at Goodwill. The other did not, and they were not in the same bin, but it would be interesting if they did not come from the same person. And one is a small and one's a medium. Anyway, this is something I grabbed thinking I'd send to thread up. They're J did I even say they're J Jill shirts? I think that's an older J Jill tag, but I figured I would just send these to thread up and make a couple bucks, not even a couple bucks, probably like a dollar fifty off of both of them. But I found the stock photo, so I decided to list them both. And they'll probably sell for like $15 to $20. There is a decent amount listed, but just because I have the stock photo, I decided to list it. Then I grabbed these men's American Eagle jeans, which I did pick up thinking I'd take to Play-Dohs. But this is like the newer American Eagle, and I figured I could probably make like $20 on these. And I paid $0.60 cents at the bin, so I grabbed them, and I will sell them myself. Okay, here's something I'm still not exactly sure if I'm gonna list myself or not. They are William Rast jeans, which I've seen the brand before but never researched it because I'm like, I can tell it's not worth much. But since I had these, I grabbed them to take to Play-Dohs, but since I had them, I decided to check comps. And they don't sell for a lot, but they sell consistently. And these are a bigger size, they are 32. And so I figured I could sell these for like $20, hopefully relatively fast. Oh my gosh, my neighbor just looked out the window at me. She just did, she's like fixing her windows, but she's looking at me, so that's uncomfortable. Okay. If they don't sell by like September when Play-Doh starts buying jeans, then I'm gonna sell them to Play-Dohs. But I decided I'll try them out. Something I wouldn't pick up at Goodwill, but for 60 cents, I'll test it. Next pair of jeans. Okay, this is something I might change my mind and take to Play-Dohs. They're men's Levi's 5'11", 30 by 30. I think that's a smaller size. I don't know a whole lot about men's. Um, so I did grab these to take to Play-Dohs, but I was like, eh, you know what, maybe I'll sell them myself. <laughs> so, um, I think, oh, what's that? That's on the back. That's weird. Is that on the back of both? Wait, it is. Okay, that must just be the style. So, um, I don't know how much men's Levi's are selling for. If they're not selling for a lot, like, I'll take them to Play-Dohs. Okay, I like these shirts. Um, I have one of these. Not this one though. They're like old like storybook graphic tees. This one, what does it say? Don't fall asleep. And then it's got like zombies in the closet. I don't know. I just think they're funny shirts. And this one is not the same brand as mine. This one actually says Stephen Rhodes and has like a little logo. So maybe this is worth even more. Um, if it happens to not be worth anything, I'll take it to Play-Dohs. Honestly, I mean, I don't really like this color, but no, I don't want this one. Zombies actually scare me. <laughs> but I'm hoping I'll sell for like 20 bucks. Next up, this is, oh, I already took all the stuff that had Goodwill prices off of it. Um, a lot of the stuff, most of the stuff was never at Goodwill, but some of it was like this piece. Goodwill wanted like, I think $7 for this Chico's thing and it didn't sell at Goodwill. So I grabbed it. And again, this is something I would normally just send into thread up, but the last, I've listed a few from my last bin strip, I listed a few Chico's item so I decided to try this one out. It is a nice piece so we'll see if this can sell for like 20 bucks. What are you? Oh these are Zello leggings. Okay I don't love selling Zello leggings like I don't really pick them up oh, out of my mouth. I don't pick them up at Goodwill but I grabbed them at the bins for 60 cents. They are cropped and I think they're a bigger size. They are a large so hopefully these will sell for like 18 to 20 dollars. I grabbed these uh because I figured there was some money in them, but I don't know. I've, if it was, okay, they're kids snow pants. And if it was the closer to, <coughs> so my kids consignment coming up is obviously in April for spring, summer clothes. These are very much winter snow pants. And so I don't want to really hold on to them for that sale in November when they do the, or like October when they do the winter fall one. So I'm going to list them. Thread Up does accept this brand. It is arctics um but 
they don't sell. They'll sell for like $15 on Poshmark and same $15 on Thread Up, which means Thread Up would give me like a dollar to two dollars for them. And they would take up so much space in a box. And right now, because I can't get a lot of labels, like I'm probably gonna run out of labels soon, I decided not to take up the space in the box and sell them myself. And hopefully I can make like a $12 profit. Honestly, I should have left these behind, but I had a hard time because they're in good condition. And I just don't like to leave stuff that's good condition behind. Coming down to the last few items. This is a Levikoff, if that's how you say it. Le Levkoff, Levkoff dress. And uh, I think that's slightly lower end one. There's like Bill Levkoff as well. Um, I come across these at last chance occasionally, but I never pick them up. The only one I've ever sold, I got from the bins and it sold for like $35. So I grabbed another one and they're like bridesmaids dresses. And this is like a classic bridesmaids dress, like blush color. So hopefully someone can grab this for a spring summer wedding, and save some money on a bridesmaids dress. Okay, so this is a pair of Zara woman pants. Um, nothing special, just floral, like wide leg pants. Uh, hopefully I can find a stock photo for these. If you did not know, you can find stock photo for Zara. Oh, actually not if the fabric content is cut out, which I'm not seeing that. Okay, well, if there's a fabric content tag, there's some numbers on the bottom of the tag that you can plug in to find a stock photo. Um, that would help sell this item. I'm expecting these to sell for about 20 bucks maybe even a little less I would be okay with that and the last item I found is a free people sweater and this one actually looks new like this doesn't look like it's ever been through the wash it's so shiny it definitely came from the same person as the other free people piece because it's got that super perfumey smell it is just a tan sweater and it is a size extra large and the other one was a size extra small so that's interesting um, I don't know, like free people pieces are all over the place. This seems like a pretty basic piece, so I'd expect this to sell for like $25 to $30, especially now that we're going out of sweater season. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. If you stayed for the whole video, thank you so much. I know it got pretty long. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye.